There we go. Oop. I appreciate that this, I appreciate that this stays here until you're ready to continue. So that is nice. Okay. And yes, I can use controller. Excellent. Let me confirm that y'all are getting game audio. The game is mostly just saying to shush right now. It's just... <sighs> yeah, but let's hop in. All right. Uh, it's 8.20, so let's see if I can play this. We'll see if it goes about a half an hour. Um, I did update the options, um, to bring, I always do 1920 by 1080. It's just, I, I don't know. I always, I always tend to stream to have everything at the same resolution I'm streaming out. So I never like go full, full screen. Um, and then there are these things here that are like this new thing saying exclusive full screen, which I guess is if you have multiple monitors, I'm trying to figure out what that means. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I also don't know what V-Sync is and I've been playing games for a long time. So, you know, give me a break. Uh, but yes, wood and weather. Just so you know, this is a little demo scene, a sample, a taste, a snippet, a nibble, a drizzle of the full experience. We hope you like flying around as a weird blue hand in a bunch of different weather. Thank you for your support. You're an inspiration. Oh, that's nice. That's cute. I like that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh my goodness, I already love the aesthetic. Um, when we saw this during our co-stream of the directs, we were like, oh my gosh, is that just like a wooden toy game? That's adorable. Oh dear, oh dear. I was trying out my new spell to be able to predict the weather. But the experiment went wrong and I ended up trapping all the weather in this contraption. That is a very bad experiment, Zoltan. And for the life of me, I can't seem to get it back out. I fear we might never have any weather again. Some people wouldn't hate that. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, that's not disturbing or anything. Oh my goodness. We're just a hand. Okay. Well, let me look around first now that I can fly. I love that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. What am I supposed to do here? If I can remember how to fly. It's my problem in every game. Oh, I can grab things. Hey, don't touch that. Oh my goodness, just the little, like the little cotton mustache and beard over the, oh. Oh, I see, it's a wizard. I wasn't sure what the outfit was. Okay, don't touch that. Did you just come out of my magical contraption? Fascinating. Hey, Tanya. My name is Zoltan and I am a magical wizard. Can you help me fix my contraption? It's very important that I release the weather trapped inside. Actually, would you mind pulling that lever after all? Why do we even have that lever? No, that didn't work. Well, I'm all of ideas. If only I had some more inspiration. You see, inspiration is what gives my magic its power. It can come from anywhere, if you know where to look. Give me inspiration, 
And perhaps I can release the weather. Okay. I do like that we can... I, I like being able to actually, like... Oh my goodness, we're just... <gasps> That's adorable. Okay, that's hilarious. Okay. Um, I like that we can get a full 360 view. We can zoom in and zoom out and see stuff. All right, what do you want? I was flying my kite when all of a sudden the wind died. The kite fell right into this tree. Could you get it out for me? Ah, uh, fine. I still can't fly it, but thanks. Hey, you're an inspiration. Great, you helped someone out and collected inspiration. Just a little bit more and we should have enough. When you need some more inspiration, it's a good idea to jot things down. That's why I invented the compendium. Ooh, I like that. In the compendium, you can collect inspiration from everything you find and everyone you meet. You can open the compendium at any time by pressing the menus button. Why don't you collect some inspiration from the compendium? I'll wait right here. Wrong one. I always do that. Okay, so we get collect we collect inspiration from a kite that flies in the sky. Hey Prax, good morning. Okay, so an appliance found on buildings in very hot weather, a large toy that floats in water, a vehicle that goes from one place to another, a polite way to say, don't go here, a tool used to retrieve curiosities from water, a vehicle that brings a lot of things from one place to another, and a fragile container for gifts. Okay. Oh, and rubbish. All right. And people. Okay, so we can collect inspiration from meeting people. And Elizabeth. Elizabeth is an influencer? Well, let's make Elizabeth our best friend. How about that? We like influencers. Okay, so there's lots of things we can find. That should be enough to get the contraption running. Try pulling the lever again. All right. I... No, there we go. I am... I am not a very good flying hand in the sky thing. I need to get lessons from the butterfly. Okay, so we can unlock weather. How about sunny? Oh, wow. Oh, oh. It worked! Some of the weather is back, and you materialized yourself a smoothie. Where's my smoothie? As you can see, there is plenty more weather to discover. And there's a whole world of inspiration out there to make it happen. However, you are only playing the demo of wooden weather, of course. In this demo, there are only three weather states. The full game will have many more. And right now, you only have access to a small portion of the full game world. Please await the full release of Wooden Weather to see everything we've made for you. But for now, go out and see what you can find. Oh, that doesn't look good. So yeah, everything is designed like children's kind of toy wooden blocks and can we just grab a tree <gasps> oh uh put that back okay well we discovered a tree <laughs> whoops <laughs> and a bush but we can put it anywhere we want, so that's nice. Bush grows in bunches. Okay, well, we're collecting inspiration, so I'll take it. All right, now there was somebody over here that definitely had a problem.
Lars. Oh, great. Hey, can you help me with my van? I'm Lars. I just needed to cross the other side of the road. I'll meet you there. And believable ginger, welcome on in. Hello. Oh, this is going great. You know, I might actually keep going a bit. Can I get the van off you at the alleyway? The what? Wait for it. Okay, this is this is the this is very clunky. <laughs> Home stretch now. Since you've already come this far, would you mind taking it the rest of the way? Just over here. I'll lead the way. See, this is why you don't do escort quests. I'm going to run you over with this van, Lars. You know what I've done? This is a classic. This is classic. You're actually going to laugh. No, I'm not, because I am a hand and have no mouth. You'll think it's funny, I reckon. This fully isn't my van. What? Look, thanks for your help anyway. The van is yours. Not literally, it's definitely not my van to give, but like spiritually. You, I, what? and now it's gone. I, oh, oh, can we open it? What is the... Pineapples? I mean, technically, pineapples, so, hmm. Oh. Is this what's in the van? Is this what was in the van? I wonder who it was getting delivered to. Maybe Charlie the beekeeper would know. They seem to like pineapples. Um, okay. Oh no, what's happened here? Wait, what is going on here? Why, what is, what is happening with the traffic? Y'all gotta, what the? What in the heck? No, what? It, I don't... What is... What? Y'all are not very good at traffic, are you? Okay, you know what? Is that another tree? Uh, who needed... Okay, just... Oh, hey there, champ. Thanks for helping with my kite earlier. <laughs> The wind has picked up, do you see? But all that kite flying has made me thirsty for a drink. Would you like to drink a pineapple? Because I know where there's plenty. I just took that person's bubble tea. I, it was just there, so I took it. Bubble tea is my favorite. Did you take this off someone else? Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Discovered Elizabeth's favorite thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we're collecting a lot of things. We've met Lars, Lars Chipper, expert at building large things and stealing vans. And we found Elizabeth Rose Hoke's favorite thing. Okay. Um, ooh. Bleh. Oh, does that mean I have enough inspiration? Ooh, a beach ball. Uh, are you mad because I... 
Oh yeah, Charlie. Uh, Alright, Charlie the Beekeeper. I think I saw... Hi. Hello, I guess. Oh, I like your hair. Oh, you're like some kind of hand. So what's your deal? You fly around and bother people? Pretty much. Whatever. I'm not really interested anyway. Oh, okay, Aqua. Cool. Hey, hi. Whoa, are you supposed to be here? There's something different about you. Yeah, the fact that I'm a big floating hand. I can't really put my finger on it. Finger. Fingers. Oh, I see. You're a hand. Like a full-on hand and not a person. Cool. I'm Terry, by the way. Catch you around. Oh, can I take the flower? I can. And I can plant it over here. Alright. That's a bird. We don't want to grab a bird. Oh. Oh. A vase. Well... You look fancy, so I'm going to put you in the lake. Oh. Uh, whoops. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um. Oops. Are you a living statue? You are. Clementine? I just watched Hot Fuzz the other evening, so Living Statue immediately makes me think of that. Um, no, just, just a regular hand, taking a stroll, looking for the beekeeper who I thought I saw. Ooh, apples. Maybe somebody likes apples. Is that vase, like, broken forever? Did I, I... I probably broke that vase forever. Oh, well. Um, beekeeper. Where would there be a keeper? Maybe over here? Is this where? I think this is where I saw them. Well, that's a farm. G'day! Birch. Like it. I'm Birch. Have you come to check out my vegetable garden? The veggie patch is good fun for anyone with a green thumb. I probably have a blue thumb. Looks like you have a blue thumb, though. A Close enough, I guess. All right, uh, so no, you don't appear, maybe, are you the beekeeper? Nope, you are, Ritu. Wow, what an unusual hand. How is it flying like that? A suspended vapor, perhaps? Or is it held together by surface tension? Oh, please excuse me, I haven't even introduced myself. My name's Ritu, I'm a water scientist. I'm into all things H2O. Come find me if you have any hydrology-related questions. Alrighty. Um, I'm not grabbing the vegetables. What I want to know is where the beekeeper might be. I probably have enough to change the weather, but I don't want to do that yet. Okay, so we have met Aqua, who's a punk. Enjoys listening to music genres you probably haven't heard of. Rita, Ritu, is responsible for maintaining the quality of waterways in and around the city. Terry was cool until you got to know him. Well, Terry's a ball enthusiast, so maybe I'll give Terry a ball. Clementine, a living statue, born with naturally reflective skin and excels in standing very still. Okay. So, if Terry is a ball enthusiast, let's give Terry that ball. I think... Hold on. Grab. Uh, Terry was right here. Give. Oh. Okay, Terry. Bye. Uh, did you like it? Yes, this ball is my favorite thing to throw. It's huge, colorful, and bouncy. It's the best. Watch, I'll throw it as hard as I can. Oh! Oh, that was... Oh, okay, that was a good throw. Dang. No. Are you gonna throw that ball again, Terry? 
Currently not. Are you going to throw that ball again, Terry? Oh, stop messing with the car. Oh, God. Okay, look, I... Nope, hold on. I just... Oh, what is... Wait, what? The what? Let's not do that. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there another one? Uh, no, I don't think so. Okay. That's the vegetable patch. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. Um, okay. I should have... Okay. So I know his favorite thing. Um, I discovered some nature. I discovered an apple. Grows when sunny. Nice. A uh, beach ball. And a vase, which is priceless. And I destroyed it. Well, let's change the weather up, shall we? Okay, we had... Is that snowy? Can we go snowy? Light snow. Oh, you can see the temperature going down. Sam size, welcome on in. Oh, so different things will people will want to do and change different things in the weather. Except the traffic is still apparently no better. Okay, first off, can I grab this ice? Okay. So much snow about. <clears throat> I'm actually an expert at snow sculpting, you know. But I wish these snowballs were bigger. Hmm. Okay. Well, what if I just do this with the snowball? Whoa! You're good at rolling snowballs. And I would know. I've got an eye for snow sculpting talent. Let's be a team. Let's build something out of snow on this wooden pallet here. Looking good, it's just missing one important detail. But I'm not sure what it is. Try finding something special to add to the sculpture. I do not know what to look for, my friend. I was looking for the beekeeper, but... Ah, oh, okay. Ice cube and a snowball. Uh... Terry's still happy with their beach ball. Is there like a stick or a carrot or something? Maybe... Can I put a flower on it? Maybe I can put a flower on it. No, apparently not. Okay, that's not it. Uh... A carrot. That's it. This is the wildest looking snow person ever. Now for the finishing touches. Oh, thank goodness you finish it because wow. This is going to blow everyone away. It's going to be so realistic, so believable that it's indistinguishable from the real thing. And voila. Hmm. Not bad. But I think we could have made something better. I'm going to let this one go. Be free. Wait, what? That was a... Um, we make a good team. Let's do this again sometime. Did you just bring a snow person to life? I have questions. Uh... 
Uh, golly. How do you do? My name's Snowpeg. I really appreciate you and Ridu making me just before. You've already done so much, but if I could ask for just one more favor... I prefer if we keep the weather on the cooler side of things. Well, see ya. Okay, so you obviously like colder weather. Um, uh, Snowpeg, 99% water. And we found a carrot. Okay. Um, hey, we have 69 inspiration. Nice. Yeah, pretty much, because I do want to see what the other state of weather is like. Does anybody else need anything in the snow? These poor cars. I I just, I feel bad for these cars. Um, I, do y'all know how to drive? We found a pair. Pears are my favorite. Um, can we give the pear to someone? No? Let's just leave it there. Will a bird want the pear? So pears grow when it's snowy. Okay. Um, is there anything else that looks like it's based in the snow? Oh, that's a flower. That's a royal bluebell. Nice. Okay, so they probably also grow when it's snowy. Grows in boxes. Ah, a plant that can be found in snowy weather. Interesting. I like the I like the rules as well. Um, oh, what's in here? Apparently nothing. Can I not get in there? I can. Oh, there's little posters. Oh, that's really cute. And there's birds stuck in here, just like they would be in any major transit station. Alright, just walking around, seeing what's up. Uh, dealing with the snow person that we brought to life. No existential crises there, it's fine. I, These drivers are not good no matter what the season is, so... No? Okay. This poor truck. Oh, the pineapples are still here, at least. And Terry has their beach ball. People have pineapples. Are you? Sir. Sir. It's a bit cold to be dressed like that, is all I'm going to say. I am Dragoljub. Pleasure to meet you. I've seen you picking up many... Ha oh, you're a strong man. I get it. Because of the, the, the leotard. Now I get it. Okay. You are quite the strong man. Just like Dragoljub. 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 Jub. Would you like to see some feats of strength? Bring me something heavy and I will lift it for you. Ha ha. Here. Have a car. Well, you definitely lifted it, buddy. Hmm, not bad. This weighs about 150 grams. I'm almost starting to break a sweat. Come back with something even heavier if you want to see true physical showmanship. Heavier, huh? Can we still grab the truck? Heavier. Heavier than that? Huh. I would... Oh, what? <gasps> we can squeeze the clouds. Also, we can move the clouds. I wonder if we, if we do that in rainy conditions, will it start raining? But otherwise... We can squeeze the crowd clouds. I was I was using the wrong wrong button to squeeze. 
but they just float around. Okay. Um, oh, what about you? Can I bring you to Drago? Can you lift the street? Okay, I can't get the streetcar there because everyone's in the way. So move it. Public transit coming through. Move it. Wait, where'd you go? It's gonna make you lift. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, I can't. Hold on, let me take the car, which I now can't move. Um. Oh, maybe a tree. Maybe if I give him a tree. Now this is heavy. It must weigh at least 500 grams. Finally, Drago Jub has a truly heavy thing to lift. Lifting heavy things, that's the fun part. Makes me feel invincible. But there always comes a time when you have to put the heavy thing back down. Life is funny like that. You can't have one without the other, you know? Lifting. It's like a birth, bursting with potential. But putting it down? That's the decay. Like watching ice cream melt on a hot day. Makes me want to cry. Life is messy, just like lifting weights, my friend. What? Enjoy the ups and downs and keep on lifting. Well, we discovered your favorite thing is heavy stuff. A tree. Okay. All right. Last thing we'll do is we'll make it rain. <laughs> make it rain. And no, get up. Get get up. I'm bad at yeah, I'm bad at learning to fly. Um so we'll make it rain and that will be uh, that'll be it for this one and uh yeah it's cute it's very very cute um and it is available um as i said my very fancy command um it is available in the steam store if you'd like to try out uh the demo of this oh let's move to drizzle oh are the water oh no are the rivers overflowing Um, how you doing, Snowpeg? Gee whiz, it's quite hot. I can't tell whether I'm sweating or it's just the rain. Oh, it's a snail! Actually, I'm gonna leave you where you are, buddy. Snail sticks on surfaces. Aww. Okay, what happens if I grab the clouds now and give them a squeeze? Nothing? They're just cute clouds? Okay. Oh, we can boop them around. Oh, what happens if I bring the clouds down? <gasps> oh no, I just gave somebody a cloud. That's probably going to go great. You brought Drago Job a puny item. It weighs only about 13 grand. Well, it's a cloud. Wow, somebody gives me an entire cloud and I'm going to actually be a little more appreciative of it, but whatever. Okay, I'm going down to see if there's anyone who has like an exclamation point. It's like, let's do something in the rainy weather. But otherwise, yeah, you get three states of weather in the game. And various people want things. They like things. You can find out. Ah, here we go. One last one. After a fish, Tex, of course. You can borrow my fishing rod if you like. Oh, thanks. Okay, we'll give it back, though, because that was very nice of you. I appreciate it. And we met... Uh text. So we never met the beekeeper or somebody who's looking to make money, but all good. Um, I like that we have a win. It's just a very cute game. It's well put together. It reminds me of a few other games where 
you know, it's a really simple layout and you're just, uh, people are just like, hey, I'd like to do this or I'd love it if you could give me this. And it's a nice, it's a nice cute game and I love the style of the wooden blocks. The rain sounds are nice too. Um, sadly, I don't know if I can ever get that vase that I broke back, but yikes. Hey, what? Mm -hmm, whatever you say. Okay, I seriously thought we did left by now. Well, bye. Yeah, Aqua doesn't care about anything or anybody. Okay, Aqua. Um, but let's return to the title. Yes. And that's really cute. That that is a really cute, and I like how the demo has just enough. But it's a full it's a full feeling demo. Like you can still do a lot in it. And, um, and yeah. Okay, how do I... There we go. Okay, so we'll end that. And I also like when they do this. So from the demo, you can wishlist it. You can also keep an eye out on their social media. Uh, check their website. And you get a little preview of what's to come. It's cute.